So next we will take a look at how to transport data from a relational database such as MySQL into the Hadoop distributed file system. So there's a MySQL database in this particular virtual machine. I'm going to log into it using the user ID training There is a database called Movie Lens in the MySQL database system in this computer. So I'm just going to log into that. And you can, you can show all the tables. There's a table called Movie. So I'm going to describe the Movie table. And I'm going to look at a few records in the Movie table. And I'm going to also do a count of how many records are there in the movie table. So having seen this, I'm going to quit now. And my goal is to copy the contents of the movie table, all 3881 records into the Hadoop distributed file system. To do that, I use a command called, a tool called scoop. Okay, so I'm going to use a tool called Scoop, S-Q-O-O-P, not S-C-O-O-P, and I'm going to import, and I'm going to enter actually a multi-line command here. So in order to enable that, I'm going to put a backward slash like this. And if I press enter, I have a different prompt that shows that Linux is expect expecting a multi-line multi command. So I'm going to enter the second line. I will enter the full command and then describe this. So basically the second line is telling Scoop to connect to the MySQL database and within the database to connect to the specific database called Movie Lens using the username training. And it's also telling Scoop to prompt for the password dash P uppercase. This is P uppercase. And then it's basically saying that it wants to save the data in HDFS um, in flat files that are where the fields are terminated by tabs. Tabs are collections of spaces. And um, it should save this within the My Data folder within HDFS. And within that, um, it is asked to save the table that is called Movie within from MySQL into HDFS. Now this table called Movie will be saved in a folder called Movie within the My Data folder. And within that movie folder, there'll be all the different, there'll be multiple files that will contain the data that is in the table called movie. So at this point, I need to enter the password. Training is a password. I'm going to enter that. And this process will take some time. This took me about a couple of minutes. It might take three or four minutes, uh, depending on whether you're running it for the first time or not. So now the data has been retrieved. You can see 3881 records have been retrieved from MySQL and saved into the Hadoop distributed file system. So let's take a look at HDFS and see if it has been saved. I'm going to type in Hadoop FS dash LS my data. And hopefully there's a folder called movie within it. Yes, there is a folder called movie. And I'm going to look at the movie folder and see what it contains. It should contain, so it contains um, some generic logs and other information, and it also contains the actual data. The data is contained in these files that have these names, part dash, m dash, 001, and so on. We don't have to worry about these names. These are assigned by Hadoop by default, but we can take a look at what's contained inside some of these files. So let me use another command to view the contents of a file, Hadoop, fs cat my data forward slash movie part dash m dash five zeros followed by the vertical line or pipe symbol followed by head dash five or minus five so what this command tells uh, hadoop is to just pull out the top five lines of this particular file located in this particular uh, path within the hadoop distributed file system and when you do that, it will retrieve the top five records within this particular file. 
So that should confirm to us that the data has been saved. So that's how you transport data, copy data from a relational database into uh, the Hadoop distributed file system using scoop. Of course, you can do other things like copy only few of the co columns or you can copy only a few of the records and so on. And we'll see that in some of the future videos.